we are diving into very simple yet life-saving tips that will help protect you and your family while traveling. Let's get started. Always use a second wallet in addition to your regular one. The second one becomes what we call a dummy wallet. Fill it with fake cash and this way when you get marked in the dark or pickpocketed, the thief will only make away with a fake wallet, leaving the real one safe and sound. Important documents like driver's license and passport can easily get missing in the hustle and bustle of travel. My advice is to scan these documents and email copies to yourself. This way, even if you lose the originals, you will still have electronic backup that you can access anywhere in the world. Now, it is often said that when choosing a hotel room, always go for a room between the second and fourth floor. But why? Thieves almost always target the first or ground floors for quick getaway, easy in, easy out. Now, talking about hotel rooms, here comes another trick that you really need to have on your sleeves. Always leave the do not disturb sign on your door when stepping out. This way, hotel staff and potential thieves will think you are still in there. For added security, leave your television on on a low volume and this will create the illusion that you are still in the room. It doesn't matter whether you are a devoted traveler or this is your very first big adventure. Guys, be very cautious when using open Wi-Fi networks, especially the ones you find in bookshops, cafe, and restaurants. While they are convenient to use, they are very unsafe and will leave you vulnerable to cyber attacks. Avoid accessing sensitive information over these kinds of networks. Use a VPN for added security if you really need to go online. Imagine yourself in a foreign country in need of direction, but you cannot speak the language. Guys, how hard can this be? I will tell you what, you really do not want to find yourself in this kind of situation. But what should you have done long before you even set off on this particular journey? The first thing you need to do when traveling, especially if the destination country speaks in a different language other than yours, download translated phrases from language apps. Today, there are so many of them on the internet. This way, even without the internet, you will still know how to say phrases, I mean common phrases such as where is the bathroom, where can I get food to buy. And guys, it is simple steps like this that makes all the difference when navigating unfamiliar places. Now let's move to another clever trick. 